I'm going to call this video, Don't Allow Yourself to Become a Vegan Prisoner. So I'm going to read a comment that I got under a video I did on my other channel. So I'm not going to share the person's username. The comment is up publicly, but I'm just going to read the comment, okay? So the comment says, Raw vegan diet was amazing at first for me. Shocking. Lost like 15 pounds and had energy to work out. I made sure to get enough calories. But eventually I couldn't sustain that. I was ravenous and went back to cooked again. Now after 8 years of being vegan, I'm craving eggs. My husband won't allow me to eat non-vegan foods though. And he's not even vegan. And my response was simply that you're an adult you're, if you're married and you can eat whatever you want. But there was a comment that someone else made that I thought was... Even better. Actually, they made two comments, so I'm going to read the first one. They wrote, There's a reason cult followers insist their followers follow a strict vegan diet, and it's because it makes them easier to control, both mentally and physically. Also, I'm adding this in myself, but there are some that um, will even require that they have a vegetarian diet, so I think both of them allow people to be controlled. Okay, and then she wrote, well, he or she, they wrote, The fact your husband himself is not vegan, yet insists you are and remain so tells me that he is abusing you and taking your right to autonomy over your own body. It saddens me to think what other methods he may be using to control your behavior. I have no doubt after eight years, you're most likely feeling the effects on your mental health as well as physical deterioration. The elephant in the room is, do you have any desire to free yourself from the shackles? Look, I know nothing of your relationship, but you've mentioned a huge red flag. So my guess is you're mentally and physically fragile by now, that you're happy to just get through another day without too much hassle, and even thinking about confronting him about the animal protein and fats is a daunting prospect. But please, for your own sake, for your body and your mind, consider asking for help. You deserve autonomy over your own existence. Maybe there is someone close to you, someone you can confide in who may be able to help you research places and people who can help you. Staying on this vegan diet any longer could be very bad for your health in ways you may not be able to bounce back from, so please consider your options wisely. Wishing you the best <clears throat> and hoping you find your way. But most of all, I'm waiting. Wait, I'm wishing for. I'm wishing you the strength to make a change because you deserve so much more. And then they also made another comment after the commenter replied. The commenter replied saying that their family is supporting them, and um, the other person was saying that they are glad that, that person has support. So I just want to say that. I really liked the person's reply. I feel like they really addressed it definitely better than I had. My my reply was like, you've grown. Like, <laughs> but it does sound like she's being controlled and that taking into consideration that it's been eight years that she's been a vegan. I was vegan for six years. And by the end of that six and a half years, I was mentally broken. Like my mind was actually broken and it took some time. I don't even know if all the pieces are really back together yet, but if someone's imposing that on you, like, I can't even imagine how weak that you could be after eight years of doing that. And on top of that, you have someone telling you that you have to do that. So you have to not only just gather up the bravery and the strength to go back to eating these animal foods, which is difficult enough, but you also have to, like, confront and deal with this person that's trying to impose it on you. Like, that is a lot. But I'm glad that she said that she had um family to support her, but... I just wanted to share that story with you all to let you know, please don't allow yourself to become a vegan prisoner, especially if it's somebody that is not even a vegan themselves. There are people on YouTube, such as Freely, that when she sees um, <clears throat> women go ex-vegan, especially if their partner also as well eats meat, she'll say things like, oh, it's the man and their lives are influencing them to do this. But this is like the opposite. This is like a man eating whatever he wants and insisting that this woman be vegan for some reason. I don't know if she um, shared the reason, but... That really disgusts me. Also, because Freely is one of the most loud and vocal and most extreme vegans on the internet, I always think of her when people talk about things that are, you know, anything vegan related, really. I think it's a sign of love and care when a man wants the woman in his life to eat animal foods again. And he doesn't want to just see her be a vegan. Because I don't, I believe Freely might have taken down the video, or I don't even know if it ever existed, but somebody was commenting saying that Robin was saying something to Freely along the lines of, are you sure you should be eating that? Or questioning something that she was eating, which was a more dense vegan food. It might have been potatoes, or she was eating a bunch of potatoes or something. I don't know what she was eating. But somebody wrote in the comments that he was actually questioning her, like, should you be eating all of that? Now, Freely has been a twig ever since she met Robin, right? 
And I hope that it's not true. I hope that it's not true. You know, but why would somebody make that up? And then you have people like Nutrition by Victoria, where her husband is like, um, she said in the video, her husband said, oh, I don't know if I'm going to be with you if you're going to be this big. And she was actually never big. Now, she's she's a six foot tall woman. She's an Amazon woman. But she was never fat. Like, she never had no big old gut or anything. You know, she had more of a chest. She had like hips and stuff. And now that's all kind of dwindling. But I don't know. When I see these women and their their partners in their lives are bringing them meat. Trying to get them to eat meat. That is just amazing and, and beautiful. And I like to see it. But all this, the woman got to be vegan and got to eat a, a light, minimal diet and starve herself. I don't like that. I don't, don't allow yourself to become a prisoner. The only people out here that really have no choice whatsoever. And I do hope that even if you're an adult, I hope that you're safe at home. I hope that... You know, you don't feel like someone's going to put hands on you or they're going to take away things that you need, like your money or your, you know, shelter and everything. And I hope that everybody is safe at home. But the ones that really have no choice whatsoever and don't even realize what's fully being done to them is the children. Like they have no say and they're just, they are really, really prisoners. And that really disgusts me as well. But if somebody in your life is telling you that you have to be vegan, please, you have to... You have to take your life back because it's not only like, I don't know why he wants her to be vegan. It's because he wants her to be skinny because she said she lost like 15 pounds as you want her to just be skinny. So that's why he's like, you have to, you can't even eat eggs. Is that why? But it's not worth it. In the long run, you're going to be very, very ill. Is it worth getting brittle bones and having your hair falling out and all that for this person to think that you're skinny or you look great with 15 pounds less? I don't know, but don't allow yourself to become a prisoner. I would say, please just don't even go vegan in the first place. You can just eat a healthy diet if you think you, le you need to lose weight. But somebody cannot impose and force veganism on you if you're an adult. And if you're just letting it go for now, you're like, whatever, it's not that bad. I can, I can still cope with it. You might wind up with some permanent health issues that you can't get rid of. Lazy eye, like I got a slightly lazy eye during a vegan diet. It's not going to ever correct. And other people have gotten this as well, lazy or crossed eye. Brittle bones. Sometimes people get really, really brittle bones, but I think that's more, you know, like hennia mania. She got osteopenia. I don't know if she's ever going to reverse that if she even quits. Neurological problems, especially if you're not getting the B12, if you're not absorbing it and you don't know, you might wind up with some permanent neurological problems and a bunch of things like, please, it's, it's not worth it. It's not worth it to go vegan in the first place, but it's definitely not worth it to have somebody imposing it on you, especially when you're having second thoughts. When you start having second thoughts and you're open to the possibility of eating animal foods, you should just be free to do that because it's your body and you're the one living in your body and experiencing this life in your body. And somebody can't eat meat and eggs in front of you and tell you you can't have it. This That's uh, really disgusting. But anyway, that's all I wanted to say.